All right, welcome back to Politics and Profits. This is where we cover money, politics, and current events. The Democratic Convention has just concluded, and of course, uh, the media is saying it was a great job by the, the uh, candidate Joe Biden. Perhaps it was. But what, a, what did voters across America, Republican, Democrat, independent voters, learn about this convention? I happen to believe, my personal opinion, ladies and gentlemen, that the overall message is this was not an attractive message for American voters who call themselves Christian, who call themselves Judeo-Christian, uh, who, call, who believe that uh, there should not be violence. Did we see any denunci denunciation of violence and riots in the streets at this convention? No. Did we see the word God removed from the Pledge of Allegiance? Over and over again we did. Join me this time as someone who feels exactly the same way. He's running for Congress in California. Let me welcome Juan Hidalgo. He's looking to unseat Democratic incumbent Juan Vargas, and uh, he's running in the seat uh, just uh, uh, south of San Diego. Uh, Juan, welcome to the show. Hey, Rick. Thanks a lot for having me. Uh, it's always a pleasure to, to speak with you. Uh, your, your opponent, he has not condemned the riots. You're absolutely right. And and not only he, uh, but especially he, because the, I'm running for the 51st Congressional District, but no Democrats, not one, have I seen condemn the absolute wrong things that are going on with rioting, looting. But Vargas should be denouncing it, and he's not. Why? Because it appears that they're for this. They're trying to keep complete anarchy and mayhem in our, in our district. In our in our country, and that's just wrong. One is if it was a Republican, they would be asking us to denounce. Oh, they would. they would. Is it because they want mayhem, or is it because it's Democrats who are in the streets doing the rioting? Well, I don't think they they really care. They want the Democrats in the streets rioting because it helps them. It helps further their cause. Again, if it was Republicans out there, they would be talking about, we have Republicans show up for a peaceful demonstration. If you recall, uh, they were out there showing open the state. They were in, up in arms about it. Well, it's time for them to stand up and condemn the bad conduct of many right now. Uh, Juan, the district you're running in, I, I don't have the number. For, is it 52? 51st Congressional District. 51st, my, my bad. It changes once in a while. Uh, 51st Congressional District. I believe it's two thirds Hispanic, uh, roughly, which means that you know you would assume it would be strong Catholic, strong Christian. They, they absolutely sixty-seven percent Hispanic, a uh, strong Christian, and that's why I've always asked many. They've been told a lie that the Democrats care for them. Well, that's not true. The Democrats do not care, and and I'm always talking about conservatives, conservatives. Real conservative Christians need to be working hard and doing the right thing. Right now, what do we have? The Democrats, as you mentioned, it wasn't a secret. They did it intentionally. They removed God from the Pledge of Allegiance. Unbelievable. How terrible is that? This country is the great country that many people work hard to get to. I'm proud to have said, to say that I serve this country, but I know many Christians should be upset right now. They, they got to walk away because there's no way they should see that the Democrat Party does not care about them. You know, it, you know, and they didn't do it once. They did it multiple times. And here's the hypocrisy of it, Juan Hildago. The Democratic Convention removed the word God from the Pledge of Allegiance, as you pointed out, on multiple occasions, except they didn't do it during televised hours, as you know. They did it during the daytime on videos, but when it was televised at night on, on television, they included the word God. That's hypocrisy. It's the hypocrisy and it's deception, okay? And the, probably deception might be the best word to really illustrate what the party is about. And again, whenever I talk a drug to about the party, I'm not talking about the people, because there's a lot of great Americans that are Democrats. Yeah. They have been lied to, and they've been given, uh, they've been uh, just lied to. That's the easiest way to put it. But they've been deceived. 
and told that this is what you must do if you care about your, if you care about your country. It's time that the 51st Congressional District gets a chance. And the chance they get is by putting me in Congress because the other guy, he's been in office for almost eight years, Rick, and hasn't done a thing, not one thing anybody can mention that they can tell me. This is not an important district. It's the, probably the most important district in the country because it has the entire California-Mexican border. That affects every district throughout this country with illegal immigration, with drugs coming across, and one that the left doesn't want to talk about right now, but we have, we have children being brought across and they're being used in human trafficking, okay? That is coming across the border. Thank God our president is, is setting up the wall, the infrastructure there. That is important, but the Democrats are against it. We need to vote him out and put Hidalgo in Congress because when I'm in Congress, everyone will be in Congress because I'll be working for the American people. You know, and Juan Hidalgo, I thank you. I was not aware that the 51st district in which you're running uh, encompasses the entire California-Mexican border. Um, yes, from the water all the way to, to uh, uh, Arizona. Amazing, amazing. In our remaining moments, uh, any debates scheduled? I know he's, he's, he does, he's trying to duck you. He's trying to avoid you. Yeah. Hey, I thank you, Rick, because you've offered. KUSI has offered. That guy does not want to debate me. Why? Because he, he has a, a terrible record, and he feels that he's above it. Well, guess what? The American people are going to speak out. I know they are. Come help us out. Go to dollarforcongress.com. Uh, make contributions. Come help us. We are on the streets. As soon as I'm he done here, I'm getting back on the streets talking, working for the American people. All right, Juan Hildago running for Congress in California's 51st Congressional District. We didn't get into it. We have previously, that unemployment rate was extremely high prior to coronavirus. Obviously, it's higher now. Uh, you want to address that, that uh, unemployment rate? The incumbent is not. Uh, you want to address riots and, and uh, violence? The incumbent is not. And uh, you want to address the uh, the whole notion of of deception and hypocrisy of removing God from the Pledge of Allegiance. We've not heard a, heard a word from the incumbent who you're running against. Thank you for joining us. I want to talk about freedom. Freedom. Let's let our people be free again. This is a free country, and he needs, and everybody else needs to understand that. Take care. God bless you. God bless America. Juan Adago, good luck. Thank you for joining us. Broadcasting from the edge of America, back after this. Politics and Profits with Rick Amato is brought to you by Liberatory Accounting, the IRS problem solvers. To find out how Liberatory Accounting can help you, call 877-6-SOLVER. That's 877-6-SOLVER.